What's up everybody, this is Murdic 3 k and today we are doing part two of a three-part series on J-Carp products. This is the medium size sling pack and uh, it's a wonderful product from J-Carp. Uh, it's, uh, I love the sling pack. I've had a small sling pack from another company. In the small one, I was able to get my Mavic in. This is a medium size one. It's definitely larger than the small one. And I will definitely be able to get not only the Mavic, but all my accessories in this bag. I have a hard shell thing with my Mavic and it would store sweetly into this bag. And we'll do a, we'll do a, like a little follow up clip when you'll see me jamming this Mavic in my bag, if you don't believe me. So the first thing I see is the Molly strapping. This has Molly all over it, guys. So if you have those Molly compartments, those those uh, Molly modular system things, you can definitely attach them to this sling pack, canteens, magazine clips, uh, whatever. If you have the Molly pockets, you can attach it to it. And of course, if you guys are unfamiliar with Molly, you basically take the little. Um, velcro oh, it's not necessarily well, it, it sometimes attaches back to the original compartment with velcro but you weave the straps in and out between the loops and it holds tight to whatever you're doing with and it has several bits of molly throughout the bag you see here here and you just go through them weave them through and whatever you're weaving on that if you do it right it's going to stay tight on this bag and this medium size sling pack is big enough definitely to justify um, su the support of molly uh, accessories it's a good size bag and we'll do more of that later on in a follow-up video you have these side clips this allows you to contract the bag if you're running uh, a partially loaded bag or if you need to open it all the way out you can undo those clips and expand it right on out. And what do we see when we expand it on the sides? More Molly. You can't have enough of this stuff. Molly does not take up a lot of space, and it's good to have more Molly than not enough. And you can definitely add other accessories. Like I said, you have flashlight pockets that come with a Molly holder. You have uh, pistol straps that come with a molly holder you have magazine clips that come with molly holders so anything you could think of as uh, far as uh, tactical outdoor purposes you could find that can, is compatible with this molly i have this y strap here and it has a carabiner clip at the end and that's just again adding another layer of compartmentalization keeping it nice and tight we open up the pocket on the back this is the rear facing pocket at the bottom and you got this stringy stuff right here got the american flag underneath and uh, the thing about this stringy stuff is it gets in the way some people remove it because it, it honestly does get in the way and other than drawing your bag tight i don't really see the purpose maybe uh one of my military friends can tell me a little bit more about why this is there maybe you could jam something in there as a holder but i wouldn't trust it you have the american flag right there on display that was a nice touch thank you jcarp for including that because other companies usually don't give you a patch but jcarp does give you the american flag patch to put on the bag I greatly appreciate it and you can get additional patches patches you can get these things on amazon they're not very expensive and you can uh, decorate your bag how you see fit the top part of the pocket here on the back has a little uh, pocket where you could throw keys, uh, cell phone, whatever you need in there, smaller things in there, the first aid kit maybe. And then we open up the main compartment and the main compartment has compartments within compartments within compartments. So we're looking directly into the bag and you see a little strap that comes down. That's to keep something secure in the, the first layer of bag you see there. It has this, this uh, vinyl lining to add water resistance, not waterproof, but water resistance. So don't think you can just throw this in the, in the river and it's going to keep everything dry. It won't. Uh, so you have this little pocket right here. It has this thin crinkly nylon. You would think it tears easily, but it's actually fairly durable. And you could put stuff in there, whatever you, what, again, whatever you see fit, whatever products and things and gizmos and gadgets you want to load up with it you can do it socks for all i know it has a pocket underneath where you can throw stuff in there maps what again whatever man underwear i don't care just whatever you're gonna throw in there throw it in there so you have that and again the little uh, strap in the bag right there if you had a tablet that you want to throw in there or a notebook you want to keep secure you close that uh, strap over it and it's going to hold that in place 
there you go and you zip that right on up good zippers on this bag guys good zippers and then we have we're going to clip that y strap back and we have a nice handle if you didn't want to wear it as a sling pack you can carry it with the handle there the sling itself has uh, like two carabiner clips on it it has this sh these strips straps at the bottom i believe that's for uh, ambidextrous use you could sling it one side or the other and you're good to go and that's why I think you have two there, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I believe that's why we have two. Yeah, if you can sling over the right shoulder or the left shoulder and you're, and you're rock and rolling, wear it from the front or wear it exposed in the back, however you want to do it. Easy to uh, clip on and uh, detach from rapidly if you need to uh, break away and attach. Detach the bag uh, pretty quick. You just squeeze those clips and it comes right on off. The straps here, they're long and you can adjust the length. It's very secure and it's not just going to wiggle loose because it has like double uh, spacers on there where you have to undo one layer, then you have to do the other to adjust it. And while that might seem like a pain, it does so so it won't come loose while you're in the field. It has a little clip at the end you can use like like your belt, you like the excess strap, you just tuck it into that little uh, little uh, wrap around piece there. Again, very similar to a belt. Just think like a belt and how you put that little excess piece in the tuck in. It has little tuck ins. That's what we'll call them, tuck ins. And you just pull it on through. It keeps that stra extra bit of strap from flapping about and you don't have to sever your strap. There you go. And you see it just pops right off and then it exposes another uh, pocket. And it's padded right there so you're nice and covered. Your strap is padded right there. Nice breathable stuff so if you get it wet it'll air out pretty good. You don't have to worry about mildew I wouldn't think. Inside the strap, it, inside this pocket, it has nylon. My theory for the reason it has nylon is, it, again, like many of these pockets, these compartments that you get, these, uh, these tactical compartments, actually have Velcro on the back. And you could actually jam one in there and it would keep it in place. The Velcro would clip onto the back of that. So not only is it in a pocket that clips down, it's also attached with Velcro. And you could, uh, pretty much everything has Velcro when it comes down to tactical stuff. If it's not Molly, it's going to be Velcro. There you go with that. So we have a little belt loop right here, a belt clip. You just put the Velcro around and you could put your belt through there on your waist and that'll keep that bag nice and sturdy if you so choose. So if you're in the field running around and you need that bag to stay nice and tight to your body, you don't want to get it hung up, you can clip it on your belt. There you go. And we're putting these straps back in. And for everything out of view, just look in the little top to the left and you'll see uh, what I'm doing there. So overall, guys, this is the J Carp medium size sling pack, and I'm loving this bag so far. I can't wait to put it through its paces, and we will do a follow up so you see how uh, this bag looks when it's full, uh, how the ease, the ease of it. We'll go over uh, all that, but overall, just consider this a first impressions. And my first impressions of this bag so far is I'm loving it. Well, guys, as always. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this content. If you've been looking at this bag, I hope this information has been helpful. As always, thank you for watching. Keep on watching and live the dream. Don't forget to like and subscribe.